You've moved on. You're having fun. You forgot about the guy. And then suddenly, ding, you receive the text. It's your ex. He reappears after months of ghosting. What do you do during this time? What do you do when a guy comes back after disappearing on you for a really long time? How do you know if he's been genuine or if he's come back to use you for his own selfish reasons? In this video, I am going to let you know the reasons why a guy comes back. Guys always come back, my ladies, they do. <laughs> And what you should do about it, how do you know if he's being genuine or not, and what you can do. I'll discuss that towards the end. So point number one, the reason why a guy comes back into your life after disappearing for a long time, it's because of the grass is greener effect. Perhaps he left you because he wanted to go explore other options, he wanted to go date around with other women, and the truth is, there's nothing wrong with that. Everyone has a choice in life, if that's what they wanna do, that's what they wanna do. But when he comes back to you as a rebound option, as a backup plan, that's when you need to be careful, my lovelies. When he's using you for validation, if he's going through a breakup, if he's recently broken up with someone and he's feeling low, he's feeling weak, maybe he could be using for emotional reasons to fulfill his needs, to meet his needs while he's feeling low. And you need to be careful when a guy is doing this. I have met guys who have done this to me. When they came back, they were like, oh, Rosina, how are you? And I was like, Dude, where have you been all this month? What have you been up to? I soon discovered after that it's because they were dating other women. There's nothing wrong with that, but I don't want you to use me as a rebound, thank you. <laughs> if you like me, you need to be you need to be interested with me, not just because you've broken up with someone. Do you see what I mean, ladies? So be careful of guys who come back because they've recently dated other women and it hasn't worked out with them and they're using you as a rebound or a backup option. That means they're being selfish and they just want their own needs met. Point number two, the reason why a guy comes back after disappearing, ghosting for months on end, it's because of that nostalgia feeling. It's because when he was with you, he was comfortable, it felt like home. And to be honest, we can do this as women as well. Oftentimes, we go back to things that feel fami familiar to us and that feels like home. And that, unfortunately, is the easy route. The reason why a guy could come back to you, it's because he doesn't want to make the effort, he doesn't want to go out there and step up into his, in, step into the unknown, he rather stay comfortable, he rather be lazy and go back to what he already knows. That is the lazy route, especially if you have done the work and you've moved on. Be very careful about, about a guy who keeps coming back because basically because you're still there, you're familiar, he remembers the good times and he just can't move on. He's, he is reminiscing about the great times that you've had together, but remember that that is his issue. And if I'm honest with you, I remember I've done this to guys too. I, during the times when I've not, when I've been busy at work or studying, and I've not had a chance to go on dates and meet guys, I remember when I'm when I've been lonely to text guys. Just because they are familiar, they are my ex and I remember having a great relationship with them once upon a time and that's an easy route and I put my hands up that I was being lazy. So be careful when a guy comes back because he's not, not done the work and just because you are the lazy route, go back to the comfort zone option because sometimes the easy option is not always the best option. Point number three, a reason why a guy 
will always come back or can come back into your life after disappearing for a long time, it's because he is lonely. You know, recently I read somewhere that men tend to feel more lonely than women. That's because us women, we are a bit more social creatures. We tend to talk a bit more generally than guys. We are more open to sharing our emotions with other women. And that's why we have our social needs met. We're less likely to feel as lonely. On the other hand, guys, they tend to feel more lonely because they keep things more to themselves. They're not going to share it with their guy friends most of the time. And this means, as a result, they are the lonelier genders more often in our society. As a result of this, this means that he could come back into your life because... Again, it could be for selfish reason. he, reasons. He wants to use you to pass time. He wants you to use you to be entertainment, to be his entertainment. A reason why a guy could come back after a long time or months on ends, it's because he's just genuinely feeling lonely. He's got nothing else better to do and he needs his social needs met. Moving to the next point, a reason why a guy comes back is also for selfish reasons because he needs his physical needs met. He wants to have sex with you. And I think this can work both ways as well. If you've had a relationship together where you had great sex life, you've had a great intimacy and connection, it's so easy to keep that relationship there as a background, as in the background, just to get our sexual needs met. And this can work for both men and women. But if this is the case, that's why you get those kind of relationships. We've all had them where you end up being on being in one of those on and off relationships because you get sexually attached just for the intimacy. You you go back to an ex and you get become physical with them and before you know it, you're on and off again and you have this emotional connection with someone and it becomes toxic and then it drags out that relationship. We know those kind of relationships. That's the reason why a guy can come back into your life because maybe he's not getting his sexual needs met elsewhere and he comes back to something that is familiar that he used to enjoy and it's so easy to go back to something that he already knows so why wouldn't he if it's there if if if, if it's an option he would do it and women do it too I know so it works both ways so that's another reason why because for to for to get his sexual desires fulfilled Point number five, another reason why a guy, a man may come back after disappearing, after a long time, it's because he's curious. Maybe he sees you having the time of your life. He can see you moving on, enjoying yourself, going traveling to places, having fun, and he is missing out. He's like, what? She's enjoying her life more than me. The best revenge is to upgrade your life. Just a side note. But when he sees you moving on and having a great time without him, this really makes a guy like mm, the fear of missing out. This really makes it really makes his competitive side come out and he wants to be still part of it. But sorry, dude too little too late so you re you need to be you need to understand that this could be a reason why a guy comes back because he sees he's noticed that you've moved on you're having fun and he's missing out on that number six a reason why a guy could come back into your life this one isn't a negative one or a bad one Sometimes men come back because they genuinely do miss you. And that is a possibility when a guy comes back because he's missing you as a person, not because of superficial reasons or just to get his 
selfish reasons to get his needs met, like physical reasons or just to use you for to pass time. No, this is because he actually misses you. How do you know this? This is when he misses, misses talking to you, spending time with you. He misses your personality. A guy, sometimes if he's realized that he's made a mistake or you know what, maybe both of you realize that you've made mistakes in the relationship and he realizes that he wants to give this another chance. He realizes that he's missing out. He, There is a risk of him missing out on someone amazing and he doesn't want to take that risk of losing you. This can happen. A guy can come back after realizing that he screwed up and he wants to make it work. So what do you do in a situation where a guy comes back and how do you know if he is actually coming back for genuine reasons because he genuinely likes you and not just for his own selfish reasons? What I suggest to you, what my advice to you is if you are in this situation, please, please, please take it slow. I know it's so tempting to reconcile, get together and be like how you was before. But this, I've done this before, huge mistake. Don't do this. You might end up back in the situation that you moved on from, that you worked so hard to move on from. You may go, you may be going back. And the last thing you want to do is go backwards and be back dealing with the things that you had, you broke up about in the first place. So that's why my advice is take it slow. There's no harm in taking it slow. This is gonna let you know if a guy is actually interested in you or if it's for his own selfish reasons, if he is being patient with you, if he's sticking around, if he's not just wanting to go to bed with you, he wants to spend time with you, he's willing to wait. These are all reasons you will get to discover if you take your time, if you take it slowly. If he's rushing you, if he is getting angry, if his response is annoying or he's frustrated, if he doesn't get what he's want, then you know he's only he only came for his own selfish reasons. And that's how you find out by taking it slow. There's no need to rush. Remember why you broke up in the first place. People usually say that more often than not, going back with an ex, does those kind of relationships do not last because the reasons why you broke up are still going to be there. I'm not saying for all cases, of course not. People grow, people evolve, and they are at positions to get back together. But in most cases, if you broke up with someone, it's better to let it go. There are exceptions, of course, like I just said. Remember, if it is healthy to go back with this person, especially if you've done all that work to move away from this person, if you've done all that work to become a new version of yourself, to go out there and meet someone new who you deserve, do you really want to be dragged back to a situation that wasn't doing you any good, that wasn't doing your mental health any good? No, none of us do. That's why it's best to look forward in your life Going back with an ex, it's like being dragged backwards into your past and it's wasting your time. And that's why it's really important that you learn how to watch out for these signs that I've mentioned in this video to look out for if he's coming back for his own needs or if he's coming back actually because he genuinely likes you as a person. I hope these tips have helped you a little bit. Let me know if you can think of any other suggestions that I've not mentioned in this video. Maybe there's other reasons why guys, guys come back. I'm sure there are. Add them in the comment below if you can think of any more. I'd love to hear from you. I hope you're all doing really well and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Take care. Bye. Love you. <laughs>